We begin here at 5 with that red alert. Damaging winds, hail, even an isolated tornado. All possible. Lonnie Quinn is here right now with all the details in your first alert forecast. Lonnie. Well, you bet you guys. Take a look at the picture behind me. Now, you look well to the south. It's a little brighter, and then the clouds get darker and darker as you push up to the north. And sure enough, the big storms are north of New York City right now. Take a look at where the watches and warnings exist. Everybody in pink, a severe thunderstorm watch. But in this gold color, so we've got Dutchess County, we've got Litchfield County. That's where the worst weather is right now. Notice we've dropped the warning or the watch for Sullivan County, for Pike County, for Sussex County, for Warren County, because once that line goes through, for the most part, it stabilizes the atmosphere and things will improve. But again, north of the area, this is where we find the worst of it, basically draped over the entire county of Dutchess County, stretching into Rockland and maybe, excuse me, stretching into Orange County, nipping at Rockland County and down into Westchester as well. This is pushing off to the east, a little bit of a northeast push to it. So this would get to places like Bedford, 505, Ridgefield, Connecticut 512, Danbury 514, New Milford, Connecticut 518, Norwalk 525, 528 it's into Westport, uh, my hometown, and 534 it's into Fairfield, Connecticut. Let me show you what's going on though, because that's the worst of it, but there are breakaways that still have a punch to it. This particular cell that rolled right over, say, Queens into Nassau, now it's into, into Long Island Sound, it never established itself as a severe thunderstorm, didn't hit the criteria, and yet, it's possible that this cell, as it pushed through Elmont, is what sparked a house fire in that area. It's a possibility, at least, because a lot of thunder and lightning associated with it. All of this is going to be pushing to the north and east. We've got this tail that's starting to fill in a bit. So the timing for New York City, you're not done with this yet. They're still off to your west. I think you've got until, say, 8 or 9 o'clock until you can really start to say, all right, we're finishing up. But the strongest threats are definitely up to the north of New York right now. From now through 8 p.m., the Hudson Valley, even Metro New York City, that's your window for catching some, strong, some, for catching some strong storms. And then 8 p.m. until 10 p.m., the storms pass Long Island. And farther east they go, the weaker they get. The watches will be expiring. They're already expiring off to our west, and they will do so and march to the east as that line marches east as well. More on this coming up a little bit later, but right now let's go back to you guys. All right, Lonnie, thank you. And don't forget, you can track the storm and get any updates on watches and warnings on on the first alert weather app download it to your phone by scanning the QR code there on your screen 